welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Rachel and I do videos about living my life as a disabled teenager with a service dog. If you like all of that, please subscribe. And speaking of subscribing, thank you to the new members of our little YouTube family. I noticed our subscriber number has changed, gotten higher, I mean. In just the past few days, I think since I really started getting into uploading YouTube shorts and stuff. So if you guys like that, please subscribe and thank you and welcome to all the new subscribers. And if you guys like me doing those little like videos of clips from Sammy's day that his trainer sends to me and putting them into like a one minute Sammy vlog then let me know because I love doing those because obviously right now I can't make videos of Sammy like in person because I don't like our what what did I do not that I don't like my dog but what I meant to say is I don't have Sammy so yeah but I really do like making those little one minute videos with different clips from Sammy's outings going out with the trainer etc etc and posting them as YouTube shorts, like little vlogs from Sammy's point of view, almost. But anyway, I will, um, so with all that being said, I am going to do a video about sensory issues and cerebral palsy. Now, it's not guaranteed that if you have cerebral palsy, you are going to have sensory issues. Or, on the same note, that if you have sensory issues from cerebral palsy, they're going to affect you in the same way. Because no case is different, no matter what type of sensory issues you have. So... There's two different types of sensory issues that you can gain with cerebral palsy. And yes, I do know that CP is in fact a motor disability, but it's also because of brain damage. And so you gotta think, obviously some parts of the brain have a chance of getting damaged that have to do with your senses and stuff so that's why we're at risk for having sensory issues because you never know what part of the brain is going to get affected so there are two different types of sensory issues with cerebral palsy hypersensitivity and hyposensitivity so hypersensitivity is what I have which is when you're sensitive to things like loud noises crowds like basically where you have a larger amount of sensory stimulation than say an able-bodied person however I have sensory problems when it comes to loud noises, crowds, things like that. That is why you will almost never see me go. It's so stupid, to a you guys. The second type is called hypo, it's just not hippo or whatever I said it was. Just loud. ignore that. This and whole on video. Top of it, this has nothing to do with sensory issues, but I could get really bad neuro reflexes and I never know what's going to set those off. So yeah, 
but people with HIPAA sensitivity basically have a lowered amount of sensory input in the brain. So I don't really know because I don't have HIPAA sensitivity, but I'm guessing you people with HIPAA sensitivity, y'all like please correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm guessing it takes like a lot of stimulation, so like a lot of pain for them to actually feel pain, etc. etc. Like, but with me, my senses are heightened due to hypersensitivity. A way you could think about the difference between hyper and hyposensitivity is hyposensitive people have lowered that 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 lowered senses everything is lowered so it needs more input but hypersensitive people like myself have everything heightened but sometimes people think of hypersensitive people as people who don't like being touched it also comes with your personality like it doesn't bother me if I'm being touched well in certain situations it doesn't it just depends like if I'm off balance and someone touches me then yeah that's gonna my hypersensitivity is gonna kick in but mine personally and everyone's sensory issues is different and like I said, some cases of cerebral palsy, people don't even have sensory issues. But there is a chance of cerebral palsy patients gaining sensory issues, not because of the senses themselves, but the parts of the brain that the individual CP has affected. So, yeah. That's basically mine, is I don't like being in crowds. When I'm looking for a new pair of earbuds, they have to be very specific. They have to have active noise cancellation, just because I just, it's not that I don't like noise in general, but when I have my AirPods in, Sorry, AirPods is the brand that I have by Apple, but when I have my buds in, I just can put on noise cancellation. Like, say if I'm in the cafeteria at school, my big thing is the cafeteria. Just way too much noise for me. Too loud, can't stand it, so I will just pop in my airpods and put on noise cancellation and I'm good to go also just because you may not like loud noises or whatever does not mean you have sensory issues it makes the most sense for me and people like me who have disabilities who may also correlate with sensory problems so yeah but like I said HIPAA sensitive people need more stimulation to feel the input of something like pain etc etc oh Sammy's trainer is facetiming me hold on guys hey hey what's doing I'm filming a video. Want to say hi to the people? They can hear you. Oh, hey people! It's your favorite person. Yes, she is the one that is taking my service dog for the summer. But speaking of, how's he doing? He is doing fantastic. He blows my mind every single day. He's like the best. Oh my goodness, that makes me happy. That seriously makes me. Hey guys, 
Sorry, I'm back. Um, Service K9 Rosie <clears throat> on YouTube, but her real name is Anne Marie. Just called me because that's who my service dog in training, Sammy, is staying with, and she wanted to talk to me for a little bit. So, what I'm just talking about about hyper sensitivity is that there is this thing out there when people think about sensory issues that they say sensory issues is having being annoyed when clothing items touch you but just so you know like all sensory issues are different so even though I'm hypersensitive it's only to sounds and you know stuff like that so we need to stop putting the idea of sensory issues in a box because there are some people talk about how sensory issues are a spectrum like any other disability with or without sensory issues also we need to be open about the subject when talking about cerebral palsy because we need to spread awareness to the fact that yes it is mostly a um, disability that's the word motor disability however there are some different cases and we need to talk about all of the aspects that can come with this disability so yeah i love you guys so much and i really do hope you enjoyed this video if you're new here like i said please subscribe and thank you to all the people who have joined our little community recently i would love it if you would hit the bell notification because once i get my laptop back i'm gonna start going live more and chatting with you guys one on one so if you want to be a part of that way of growing our community then you can hit the bell and also that way you're notified whenever i post little youtube shorts about my service dog in training sammy as he goes throughout his training because right now i don't have much to update you on but i do want to show you guys that footage and but i don't want to have to make a whole video of just update footage so that's how I'm keeping you guys in the loop is by uploading YouTube shorts as well as following my service dog in training on Instagram those are ways you can keep up to date with his journey and of course I'll talk about it on lives and stuff but I hope you guys enjoyed this video I love you guys, and yeah, I will see you in my next one. I'm going to be vlogging on Monday. Well, yeah, I'll be vlogging on Monday. There's probably going to be a video up Tuesday, and there's a lot of tea in there in regards to my foot surgery and stuff like that. <laughs> I'm nervous for that appointment, y'all, so you guys are going to come with me. Y'all will be my support system on that doctor's appointment so i love you guys so much and i will see you in the next video bye